up, people? Jobsy Wolves, right here. This is part two of the movie review, A Clash Against Jackass and Dirty Sanchez. We just did uh, Dirty Sanchez, so now it's time to move on to Jackass. Literally, to myself, it's one of the most biggest ones ever. Literally, biggest thing ever. I love it a lot. It's absolutely awesome. Nothing really wrong with it. And literally one of the most best theme tunes ever. Uh, yeah, I loved Jackass a lot. I loved it a lot. Brilliant it was. They did three volumes, I think it was, or four to remember. Uh, yeah, they did four. They, had, they did volume one, two, and three, and then they did a lost tape um, volume. But when this was done, they went to separate parts. Bob Margera, Ryan Dunn, God bless his soul, and his friends went to do a TV show called Viva La Bam. Brilliant show, but I'm not talking about that. Then John and Oswald went and became a big massive Hollywood star doing movies, doing Men in Black 2, and his official debut movie called The Ringer. Trying to fix the Special Olympics. How sad is that? Then Steve-O did his own TV show of his life. Steve-O, don't try this at home. Featuring the cash of Jack of Jackass. A lot of this on in the shops. Easy to find. And this is hard to find in England. You can get it easy in America. It's Steve-O again, but with Chris Pontius. Wild Boys. Very hard to find in England, but very easy in Eng in, to find in America. But, brilliant they are. But anyway, I'm talking about the movies. First movie, absolutely awesome. And I literally, to say, it was one of the most hardest ones they ever pulled. It was pretty hard. They, they were rookies. And to me, it wasn't my favourite of anyway, but when it first came out, I was a bit freaked, because the one thing I did not like was the paper cut. I, that was making me cringe so much, I hated it so much, it, it scared me, I hate paper cuts, they make me, they just make me vomit. They did make me be sick as well, but literally, it's a very good film, go and see it, buy it, watch it, it's absolutely amazing. And then... About a few years later, they made the second one, Jackass 2 Uncut. And this was ten times better, because now they know this was big, and it was so huge in, around the world. Even in India, they actually enjoyed it in India. Japan enjoyed it, England mostly, America same thing. But they went epic on this. Sadly, Party Boy weren't in this a lot at all. He was only in it like once and that was it. In the, in the very first one, he was in it a lot. Um, funny moment on this was the fart tank. Very funny. Chris Pons just fighting in a, um, in a funnel. Steve farting, smelling his farts was so, so, so funny. But the best thing was the main event. Um, Ern McGee dressing up as a suicide bomber, strapping himself with dynamite, and going to an airplane. Brackets, he got pranked. He got pranked because his fake beard was made out of pubes by all casts of Jackass and film cast. And he got pranked because the taxi driver was actually holding a real gun, who was a part of the prank. And the and Ernie Giggy got shat his pants when he got like in the back of the trunk screaming BAM BAM HELP ME Very funny but overall 
It's very good. Then when number two finished, they thought, we need a bit more out of number two. So they made a sequel of the sequel. Jackass 2.5. This is not really a film film, but I call it as, I declare it as actually a film. It's um, the, uncut, the uncut clips from the movie that they could not fit in. It's run about, like, literally over an hour of um, missed out clips that they put, couldn't put in the movie. It's pretty funny. It's not the best of the number two, just to say, but it's pretty darn extreme and ha they did not put them in, and I couldn't believe they did not put them stunts in, because they were so funny. Then, went on to 2000 and, I think it was 2010 or 2012, I do not really remember. Uh, 2011. Jackass 3. This was my personal favour. I love this one so, so much. Best thing ever was the um, the big high five and... Um, oh, God. Um, the, um, the shit cocktail supreme at the end with Steve-O. So funny. And it was... Absolutely amazing, friggin' amazing. I can't say more than amazing because it's so good. Five stars on that, these last. And then the, this was the final DVD that Ryan Dunn made. Jackass 3.5. So funny, it was literally 10 times better than 2.5. It was more funny um, um, clips in it. But most of the thing that made me cut my head. Most of these were mostly dick jokes in this one. Mostly all about penises. They um, mostly put in um, like dildos up up the ass, dildos through the mouths. It's fucking disgusting. And then a load of stuff about shit, and piss, and all that lot. Things about snakes. Well, you see, it's a very very funny film, just to say. And um, the best um, um, stunt in this was easily the one at the front of it. The Mentos and Cola in the dark. So funny. I loved it so, so much. Anyway. To dedicate this episode for Ryan Dunn. We miss you, my friend. You've been a very good one. Even though you, a lot of people called you, you were an outcast. You didn't do a lot of stunts. But your mostly memorable moment ever was easy. Putting the toy car up your ass with a condom. And then shitting out a few mo weeks later. Absolutely epic. But mostly, we will miss you, dude. And I hope you're there up in the sky, saying down steps, down to, under, o over the clouds, saying, You said twit. But literally, Ryan Dunn, if you're up there or you're down there, we'll miss you, dude. We wish you were still here. And we wish you and the others can make another film. This has been Dobsy Rules, signing off for our second movie review, The Clash Against Dirty Sanchez and Jackass, part two. The next movie clash will be... Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie and Pokemon The Movies, an animated movie. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.